Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the final hour of SmackDown Live. Guys, we have so much going on here tonight, and uh, as you can see, I mean, we already know that the main event tonight, Heath Slater versus a mystery opponent, and we found out that mystery opponent is Vladimir Koslov, and it will be USA versus Russia for the United States title, the first match in the United States Championship Invitational here tonight. And guys, if you've missed any action, please go back and watch and check out what has been going on here tonight. We see Tomasu Ciampa, Renee Young trying to get a word out, but nothing as Ciampa continues to look for Bo Dallas. And if you haven't checked out what's going on here tonight, guys, <laughs> it has been off the chain. Bo Dallas, Tomasu Ciampa have been all over this arena tonight. And uh, kind of playing a cat and mouse type game, a little hide and seek. But we're going to kick off this third hour with Sheamus versus Braun Strowman. And here we see the man himself, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, making his way to the ring. And we hear that song that is God Smacks when legends rise. And, uh, and that has become the new theme song for, for Sheamus here, as uh, he's kind of got a, a new breath of life, a new outtake, you know, uh, on his uh, wrestling career, so to speak. He has come to SmackDown Live, and he has set his sights on that world title, and he is willing to prove that he can take out anyone and everyone that gets in his way, and he starts here tonight. With Braun Strowman, he kind of picked a fight with Braun Strowman last week on SmackDown, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but me, I wouldn't pick a, uh, I wouldn't pick a fight with Braun Strowman. But then again, I wouldn't pick a fight with with Sheamus either. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to step to either one of these two men. And uh, we hear that right there, that scream. That means Braun's on his way to the ring. And this crowd here in Las Vegas is in for a treat tonight as we see Braun Strowman taking on Sheamus. And, uh, again, if you've missed anything, please go back and check it out. We've seen the Cologne uh, take out ROK here tonight uh, in an amazing match. That match went for almost 20 minutes, folks. It was just one giant highlight reel. We've seen 24K and Bobby Roode take out the Bludgeon Brothers and Bray Wyatt in a six-man tag match. We've seen the women's division just go to complete shit chaos in a tag team match. Or in a one-on-one -on -one match versus the iconic duo and, and the beautiful people. Shayna Baszler, the Deadly Alliance, interfered afterwards. It was just crazy. We've seen Alexa Bliss pick up two victories here tonight over Nikki Cross, which I, I'm still confused about. We had the GM page announce that on Mayhem it would be an all-women showcase with both women's championships on the line, the women's championship and the tag championships. And uh, look at this here, the nice gut-rich suplex from the monster to Sheamus. I mean, guys, it has just been one amazing night. Holla, holla, play Teddy Long is in the building talking about bringing a new tag team to SmackDown. We've seen Savio Vega, the Puerto Rican assassin in the background, shaking hands with, with Booker T. I don't know what is going on, but all I do know is that SmackDown is the place to be. You want to tune in each and every week. Look at that clothesline there from Sheamus to the monster, putting the monster on his back. And Sheamus uh, delivering some of those boots and a beautiful... Beautiful sledgehammer type clothesline right there. Oh, another clothesline puts the monster on his back. And not too many people can lay the monster down like that. Uh, but again, just as I say that, the monster fights back. Braun Strowman and Sheamus back and forth here tonight. These two guys are, are just huge beasts. I, I don't even know how to describe them. I mean, Sheamus, you know, Braun is a monster. He's tall, but Sheamus, look at this. In the corner, delivering those shots. Oh, my God. Braun Strowman taking those beat down, that chest beat down. The chest is all red. And there you see Sheamus screaming to the crowd, are you not entertained? Sheamus here to make a statement here tonight. And the monster 
The monster's taking his time to get back to his feet here. Again, you know, we don't know what kind of uh, condition Braun Strowman is, is in after that, that Hell in a Cell match two weeks ago. Him and the big dog Roman Reigns went toe-to-toe -to -toe back and forth. I mean, Braun picked up the victory, but that doesn't mean he's 100% here tonight at all. So, uh, you know, Sheamus, and again, you know, Sheamus, we know he's, he, I guess he's 100%. He did have a, he fought a payback too. He, had, he beat up Drew McIntyre. But, I mean, uh, what a match right here. These two, the powerhouses, it's going to be back and forth, folks. And, uh, I, whew, I hate to get in a ring with either one of these two guys, but, we are going to see mountains move here tonight in this match of Sheamus right now with the advantage. Sheamus driving the head of Braun Strowman into the mat. And again, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in to Jack to Mac Gaming every week to check out the new shows that we have put up. SmackDown, Raw, Mayhem, Warzone. This is the place to be. There's always something going on on Jack to Mac Gaming. And look again, he's delivering those blows to the chest and Braun Strowman's chest looking like raw hamburger right now as he just continues to beat him down. And again, panning to the crowd here tonight in Las Vegas. Sheamus is fired up. He is on a roll. Sheamus taking it outside. Oh, a nice, nice move right there. Putting, drilling Braun Strowman into the mat. And uh, whipping Braun Strowman over into where the ring bell and the announcers sit. You guys might want to get the hell out of the way. You don't want to be stuck in that little corner with Braun Strowman and Sheamus, that's for sure. Oh, what a move right there from Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior is fired up here tonight. And the crowd chanting, you look stupid. Obviously talking about... Sheamus and that hairdo, but even though they're chanting, you look stupid, it, it, they're, they're still behind the Celtic Warrior 100%. It's almost like the Kurt Angle, you suck chant, or the John Cena sucks chant. They, these, these guys are still behind Sheamus here tonight. Don't, don't get it twisted. Braun Strowman here, trying to mount a comeback, and Sheamus tosses the monster to the outside. Sheamus definitely on his game here tonight. And Braun Strowman lacking a little bit in that category. Like he's not focused on the Celtic Warrior, which is a big mistake. That's all I got to say. That is a big mistake not to pay attention to this man in the ring right now. Oh, and Braun Strowman returning the favor, tossing Sheamus to the outside. Sheamus, Braun Strowman again, toe-to-toe -to -toe out here on the outside. Sheamus throws him back in. And, and the Celtic Warrior is going up top. He's going to fly high with an elbow, and he misses as Braun rolled out of the way. Fans, again, these two men have something to prove. Each one of them vying for that, that world title. Each one of them want to be considered into that world title, you know, upper echelon category of, of, of superstars here. And Sheamus with a nice move right there, driving Strowman to the mat, and again you hear him screaming, are you not entertained? Now we all know that the Celtic Warrior, you know, he's a former champion, world heavyweight champion, he's, you know, he's went the distance, former multiple time tag team champion with Cesaro, but uh, again he is looking to revitalize his career here on SmackDown, and, and what way to do so than to pick up a victory over Braun Strowman? I mean... That would be a good way to start your run here on SmackDown Live. And he is just driving the back of Braun Strowman into his knee there with a multiple back breakings. And, uh, you know, more power to Sheamus. I see him, uh, oh, he's got him up. He's got Braun up. The Celtic Cross here. Boom! And he drive, drives him down. Into the mat. Braun getting twisted up in those ropes as well. That definitely did not feel good. That's like falling out of a tree and hitting every branch on the way down. Just not not a joyous experience. <laughs> but the monster continues to fight right back. And the monster's got him set up here. But no, Sheamus with a nice 
fireman's carry reversal. Sheamus firing up this crowd here. And he's got Braun reeling on the ropes. And again, oh, stretching Braun out, using those ropes to his advantage. The Celtic Warrior here is on fire. And like the Godsmack song says, when legends rise, Sheamus is trying to show you, Sheamus is trying to show you all just what happens when a legend rises, when he comes up from the ashes like a phoenix here tonight on SmackDown. And he is taking it to Braun Strowman. One, two, only a two count as the monster kicks out here. And this crowd is so hyped up here tonight in Las Vegas. We are in the city of sin. And uh, I'm starting to sober up a little bit. I'm sorry about the last hour. I was way too drunk. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But BAM! Again, these triple backbreakers driving their back into his knee. Oh, just wearing down the monster. Look at the strength and power of this man. Sheamus. He is so massive, like, just muscular, strong. All these workouts the Celtic Warrior has been doing, posting on his YouTube channel. And there's that bro kick. He told Braun Strowman last week, he said, a bro kick will stop me from catching them hands. And boom, there it is. He delivers that bro kick. He's going for the pin. No, no too close to the rope. Seamus, Seamus, you should know better your in-ring awareness there. You should have pulled him away from them ropes. But that doesn't matter. Is this crowd is still fired up here tonight. And uh, guys, don't forget still to come. We have the main event of the night. The United States Championship Open Invitational. Heath Slater will be taking on Vladimir Kosov. That's right, you heard me right. With, with Nikolai Volkov in his corner. It is Russia versus USA here tonight. And uh, oh my God, are we going to see something spectacular in the ring there. As, uh, as Heath Slater defends that United States Championship. And look at this. The monster on the outside of the ring getting counted out here. Sheamus, Sheamus crawling out on the other side. Making his way around. And he went for a clothesline. But missed is Braun Strowman. Oh, Braun tried to hit him. Sheamus reversed it. Whoa, he went for a scoop slam there. And no, the monster finally fighting back. Drives Sheamus into that apron. Oh, it hurts so bad. The monster picking Seamus up off the floor here. And he's got him in position for, for a power bomb, it looks like. Oh, and he power bombs him down onto the concrete right here on the arena floor here in Las Vegas. We are in the T-Mobile arena, and this building is going wild here tonight. Seamus rolled over. The monster didn't even get a one count as Sheamus was able to kick out. And these two guys have been going at it for a hot minute now. And I'm sure their momentum is starting to dwindle down here. Both of them looking like <coughs> looking like they ain't got much to give. But as soon as I say that, we see Sheamus come right back and fire at, at Braun Strowman. And not again. Boom! Delivering those knees to the back of Strowman. Right to the small of the back. Seamus looking like this is how he is going to keep the big man down and keep him grounded. Wearing out the small of the back. If he does so, it's going to be hard for the for the monster to pick him up and put him in any kind of power moves. And there's another bro kick right to the face. Seamus with a second bro kick. Boom! Delivered to, to the monster. And the monster is down. This time right in the middle of the ring. Seamus just looking down at him. He goes for the pin. Only a two count. The monster again able to kick out. And you can see the frustration starting to set in the face of Sheamus. Sheamus with another double axe handle clothesline there. Sheamus has got Braun up into the ropes. Oh, and a massive go to hell clothesline there from Sheamus. And, and again, guys, these two men, you know, they, they are some tough individuals. This match could go on for hours. We don't know. But, you know, we are in Las Vegas, and the city never sleeps here. Braun Strowman with a quick pin of his own. Only a one count, and Sheamus was able to kick out. Sheamus has got him up, picked him up from the side there. Nice sidewalk suplex. Driving Sheamus to the mat. 
And again, one would think with all those multiple knees to the small of the back that the monster is going to have trouble making those lifts and those pickups. He's going to feel that pain and those tweaks in his back. But currently, oh, as I was going to say, currently the monster in charge, Seamus again tossing him to the outside. And here we see him on the outside, back and forth. The monster pancakes Seamus down on that arena floor. And then he whips, whips Seamus back into the ring, sits him up for the big boot. Strowman back in the ring now. And the monster kind of in charge at the moment. No! Again, nice reversal there from Seamus. It's been back and forth, and look at that high knee hit right on the bottom of the chin of the monster. And Seamus thought that could have been in as he went for a count, but the ropes... Again, the ring awareness, Seamus. Pay attention to those ropes. Seamus now arguing with the referee. Not liking the outcome of what's going down here so far. But, uh, guys, he looks like he's setting him up again. Oh, what a fucking boot right there is Seamus. Delivers another kick right to the face of Braun Strowman. This time getting a two count. And, uh... Sheamus has got him up again. Not again. Oh, those knees to the back. He has definitely isolated the small of the back here tonight as he continues to work work on that area here on the monster. Sheamus, one more time. Screaming to the crowd one more time. Are you not entertained? Oh, what a fucking kick right there. As he just took the head off of Braun Strowman. Holy shit. Oh, and that has to be it, folks. That's the third bro kick of the night. And Sheamus just looks down as, as the monster lays unconscious. And he goes for the pin. One, two, three. And that is it. Your winner, Sheamus, picking up the victory here tonight. And oh, my God, what a match this was. What moves we saw here tonight. Sheamus... Picking up a victory over the monster. This is huge. This is big for Sheamus in his debut here on SmackDown Live. And uh, what a match we had. Now, I'm sure that this match, this match might be over, but this feud is just beginning. And as these two men, uh, I see a long-time rivalry brewing between the Celtic Warrior and the Monster Among Men. Holy shit, wait a minute, who is that? AJ Styles has just hopped the guardrail. What is Styles doing? He jumped in the ring and confronted Sheamus. Look at the size difference between these two men. AJ Styles attacking the Celtic Warrior here. What a suplex. AJ Styles, the crowd is going wild. They're screaming for the phenomenal one. AJ Styles has got him up. Boom! And he delivers that move right to the back of the neck of Sheamus. AJ signaling for it. Are we going to see... Oh my god, what a kick right there! Adding more insult to injury and Sheamus is down. AJ was signaling for the Styles Clash. And we haven't seen it yet, but... Oh god, AJ continues to... To just tear up Sheamus here tonight. I thought we were going to see that Styles Clash, but look! This is not... Not your time, Sheamus! Oh my god, AJ Styles making a statement here tonight. Now we all know Sheamus was not 100%. He just got done having that match with the monster, but AJ seen the opportunity and he took advantage of the situation. Well, folks, that brings us to our final match of the night here. It is going to be Vladimir Koslov with manager Nikolai Volkov taking on the American maid, Heath Slater. And guys, we hear right now the booze coming from the crowd here in the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, as they are playing the Russian National Anthem over the loudspeaker, and this crowd is booing. Oh my God, it is deafening, the booze coming from, from the crowd. Now come on guys, you know, respect the other countries, respect the nations. I mean, uh, that man walking behind Vladimir, Nikolai Volkov, that is a legend, that is a Hall of Famer in this business, and uh, 
Again, this crowd does not give two shits about these Russians in the ring. They are booing the Russian national anthem here tonight. And, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say, but... And just like that, as if someone flicked a light switch, the roof just blew off the damn building as we hear Bruce Springsteen coming through the loudspeakers. He says, Nick, he is not to the ring. Every guy in attendance is screaming, born in the USA. Here he comes, your United States champion, Bruce Slater. And this place has blown up. I have never seen... A crowd explodes like this, like they are right now for Heath Slater. It's almost almost as if The Rock himself has given Heath Slater that electricity to be the most electrifying man here on SmackDown tonight in Las Vegas. This place is just exploded. And you see him right there. Keith Slater, your United States Champion, panning to the crowd here tonight. There is not one superstar in this building getting more love than this man right here, Heath Slater. This crowd is going fucking bananas. And guys, we are about to get this match kicked off, and I am just so excited. Right, again, the energy level, the energy that Keith Slater puts forth, and it, it just, it blows this crowd up every night, and uh, I look forward to seeing this match, but Heath Slater, man, you're standing on the other side of the ring looking at this huge Russian in Vladimir Kolosov, and uh, Heath Slater, not one to back down, but guys, that guy is huge. If you have never... I mean, watch, when you see these two wrap up for the first time, the size difference in, in Heath Slater and Vladimir Koslov is, is, is exponential. I mean, to tell you, this, whew, Heath Slater has got one hell of a fight here. Now, Slater has fought men like Braun Strowman, Baron Corbin. He's fought these big men before, but look at the size of that Russian on the other side of the ring. And there you have it, folks. That's what they're fighting for here tonight. The United States Championship Open Invitational. And Slater. Slater is ready. We can see. Oh, Slater hits him with a standing drop kick. And this crowd pops. The chance of USA are already kicking off here in the building. But Kozlov there with a nice move of his own. Driving. Driving the champion to the mat. Now we got Big Vlad in here. We see Nikolai Volkov. Spinning out Russian, uh, telling Vlad what to do here tonight. And again, you know, much respect to, to Heath Slater. Oh, nice neck breaker right there. Slater coming out here on his own, taking on anybody and everybody. He said he is doing this for the United States. He is doing this for him, for the country, for the United Slater Americans. And, uh... We see it's going down here tonight. Vladimir Kozlov, look at that choke slam, the power. Just manhandling the United States champion. And the crowd booing. Booing Vladimir here. Hey, Slater. Getting the upper hand, knocking Vlad to the outside. Wait a minute, Slater's up top. And Slater just delivered a missile drop kick to Nikolai Volkov. Oh my God! Slater has attacked the Hall of Famer here tonight, and he slides back into the ring. The crowd is blowing up. Vladimir, oh Vladimir, has got a hold of him. He's driving him into his knees. Oh, right into the kidneys, right into the ribs there. And I cannot believe that we just see him Slater drop kick Nikolai Volkov. Oh my God! Oh my god, this is going to be a crazy match. I'm so fired up. Heath Slater whips Vlad into the corner. And a nice American bulldog, as Heath Slater likes to call it, right there to Vlad. Driving Vlad into the ground. And this crowd again getting behind the United States champion. 
Fired up. We see Vlad here fighting back though. Knocking Heath Slater off his feet, sending him just rolling out to the ring. What a shoulder tackle that was. And Heath Slater outside trying to just get his breath, get his bearings back in order. Take your time, champ. We understand. Heath Slater tried to, to put off. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do, but it didn't work. Because Vlad just drove him back down to the canvas again. And the crowd, you can hear the crowd still chanting, born in the USA. They're trying to fire up the champ here tonight. Oh, and he is definitely going to need it as Vlad is just cleaning the ring with Heath Slater. Vlad definitely having his way with Heath Slater. And this crowd, as much as they're chanting USA and cheering for for the champ and cheering for Slater, he is not doing too much here. Wait a minute. As soon as I said that, it was a reversal into a scorpion death drop. Shades of steam coming from the champ. And we know what kind of historic background that Sting and Slater have, but he pulled that move out of his bag of tricks for sure. Oh, and he just lays out Vlad right there. Slater setting him up. Are we about to see it? Boom! And there it is! The paycheck, folks! He just hit the paycheck on Vladimir. He's going for the pin. One! Two! Only a two count as Vlad kicks out here tonight. Oh my god, the crowd here was going crazy. And right as that kick out, it was a collective no from the crowd. They do not want to see this United States title go home to Russia, that is for sure. But here we see the big Vlad fighting back. He's Slater with a nice reverse on the clothesline. Slater going upstairs. And he's panning to the crowd. He's screaming free bird. Oh, and there's the missile drop kick as he kicks Vlad right in the face. But it looks as if it didn't even phase the giant Russian monster. Vlad with a violent headbutt there lays out the United States champion. And this crowd is going nuts. Oh my god, could this be it? One. No, only a one count. As he Slater kicks out again here tonight. The most patriotic man in professional wrestling. He Slater fighting to keep keep his title. Oh, he just did a Russian leg sweep to a Russian. Did you all see that shit? He Slater is on fire. Slater again fighting back Vlad. Vlad is just so big and so huge. Oh, right back into those kidneys, into those ribs. He's driving that knee. Again, oh, right across the brim of the nose there with the knee. I mean, when you're talking about this Russian, look at the power here as he's pushing on the temples of Heath Slater, driving those knuckles into his temples. The Russian pulling out any dirty trick he's got. Heath Slater continuing to fight back, though. The American spirit cannot be put down here tonight as Heath Slater continues to fight back against these Russians. And again, he's setting him up. Are we going to see another paycheck here tonight? And we are. Here he goes with a paycheck. Boom! And he hits the big man one more time with the paycheck. And this crowd is blowing up here tonight. Heath Slater getting ready to, he looks like he's going for the pin. No rope break, and that is, again, bad ring awareness here tonight. But again, when you're dealing with somebody as big as Vladimir, it's hard to not be close to any rings, any ropes, I mean. And Vlad, the power, to just driving Heath Slater back down. And again, pounding the side of Heath Slater's head, stomping on his back. I mean, this is a massive, massive man right here. And, and the height and size advantage, you know, is definitely a disadvantage for Heath Slater. No, oh, but Slater again, fighting back with all he's got. Clotheslines the giant rushing out of the ring. Slater going to the top rope. Slater with an elbow to the floor. Macho Man Randy Savage style elbow drop to the outside of the ring. 
And he throws in Vladimir Guerrero. <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero. Oh, no shit. I'm so messed up. He throws in Vladimir Koslov. Oh, and another elbow to the spine of the back of Vladimir. And he pounds the head of Vlad off of that man. This crowd, again, is chanting USA nonstop screaming here tonight. He's Slater with a right hook. Slater giving it all he's got as he tries to keep this big man down. And there you see it. He's Slater screaming one man. Bam, bam, bam. Slater picks Vlad up. Boom. He hits the backstabber again. And he's got him ready. He's setting Vlad up for that paycheck one more time. Let's see it. Boom, and he hits the paycheck of Vlad. And there you see it, guys, the paycheck as he drives Vlad back into that mat one more time, and this crowd is going wild. We see Nikolai out there with his hands on his heads. He can't believe that he Slater has just retained his United States Championship here tonight on SmackDown Live. And guys, this crowd here in Las Vegas is going wild. And we see Nikolai Volkov in the ring. He Slater extends his hand. Nikolai Volkov shaking the hand of the United States Champion. He Slater. And we see the crowd here going wild as he holds up his and celebratory congratulations. And he Slater's got a mic. And fans, I can't believe everything we have seen here tonight. I want to thank all of you all for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to Jack the Mac Games.